in today's video. Okay, so I've never done these before, but um, I follow Taylor Wynn and she does a lot of these. And I think also Jessica Braun does these. I'm trying to remember, I can't, I'm not entirely sure. I think she does. But anyways, um, I ran out of a few things, mostly shower things. Um, not a lot of makeup, but we'll go through the makeup, the only makeup product. I'm just, <gasps> that's not true. Oh no, okay, I forgot. I went through a whole thing. Okay, so let me go, let me get into details. I went through a whole thing of Kiss Lash Glue. This is the House of Lashes. I don't have the empty because I threw it away. Okay, I just confirmed that I did, in fact, throw it away. So, I did go through a whole thing of the Kiss Lash Glue with Aloe. It's one of my favorites. I love it. I'm obsessed. Um, and I miss it. I opened the House of Lashes one, and I just wanted to try something different. I've been using that Kiss Lash Glue with Aloe for, I want to say, like, two years now. It's one of my, it's, like, literally my favorite. I've never needed to try a different one. But like I said, I've been trying that one for two years. I've been using that one pretty steady for two years. And I just wanted to try something different. I had heard good things about the House of Lashes a few years ago. So I, did, I had one and I just wanted to try it. Kiss Lash Glue would never do me like this, okay? <laughs> Go with the Kiss one, okay? That one's so much better. Go with the Kiss. And it's only, it's so much cheaper too. So much cheaper. Like why, why would I do this? Why? I didn't need anything else. I had everything I needed. I had everything I needed. Why? And then the other thing I went through is the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Light Brown. So this is the one I was using mostly when I had my ombre. It's kind of my blonde hair. It's kind of coming back because um, my hair dye fades and I've tried to brighten it over the time. I've tried to brighten it a couple times too, but <clears throat> the hair dye fades a little bit, so I got a little bit of an ombre going, but it, my hair used to be a lot lighter. I was going through a balayage. It was pretty blonde, um, and then I kind of got tired of it and I kind of dyed over it, but light brown was a really good shade for me because it was like like it went with that balayage blonde very well and then when I dyed my hair back back to a dark color I just wanted to get through this and I got through it and it was good timing um it didn't take me forever um it did last a long time I think I was using it I don't want to say every day because I, I never use the same product every day but I was using it pretty consistently off and on and it took me about a year, so I think a normal person using this every day might take them like three to four months to use. I hope, I'm hoping being accurate in that, but um, I was using it, yeah, pretty consistently off and on. <clears throat> and it lasted me a year during COVID when I wasn't doing my makeup too often. So that's kind of why I reduced it even more. So I think about three to four months, this pencil would last you. It was really, really good. Um, I have no complaints with the formula. I like other ones a little bit better, but um, this is still a really good comparable formula to high-end. Um, the shade was really nice, cool toned, creamy formula, thin, small, tiny. Um, it did break on me a few times, but not too bad. Like this is all that I have left and I just, it's not enough for a full brow. It can, it will not go further up. So I just decided not to use that tiny little bit. It's literally enough to maybe do like the second half of my brow. It's really not enough for me to use. It does have the spoolie on the end. I never use these spoolies. I'm not lying. I never use these spoolies. People complain that like, oh, it doesn't have a spoolie. Mm, products don't have a spoolie. Like every eyeshadow kit, I'm sorry, eyebrush kit ever has one of these. Every single one of them. Like, I'm exaggerating, but like 99% of them have a brow brush with a spoolie on it, so. And I much prefer that than getting my product dirty and having to wash this because you should always, if you use a spoolie, you should be washing them. So I'd rather wash my brush than take my brow pencil and go wash it and get this like wet and maybe I didn't close it right and get, get moldy, I don't know. Something about like using this and then having to clean this out kind of grosses me out. 
versus a brush that there's no makeup here like other than the buildup that you have to clean off but like if I get this wet I'm not creating any kind of like I'm not messing this up you know if that makes sense because you have to also keep it upright the water would go down I don't know my opinion I do not like spoolies on my products I don't hate them either I don't because I don't use them but I understand for people who do use them but then like how do you clean this how do you sanitize this? How do you, how do you, how do you, tell me. Um, you just let it get wet. You let your, I know it's closed, but is it really sealed? Is there not a hole connected in between here getting water in there trickling down? You know, like, I don't know. I just, it's mental, but I, I just don't like using spoolies. I much rather use my eyebrow brush and clean that spoolie. And I, that, that I do use, and we'll never have a problem. So, um, makeup wipes. So, I have been trying to get through the makeup wipes that I do own. I do have makeup erasers now as well. Um, but I do have a ton of makeup wipes that I've bought in, over time during a sale. My mom, she buys them for me as well. She bought me this one, actually. Um, I also got these on sale from Ulta. They were like $2 for like a double pack. So I just want to try them. They're actually pretty decent. Um, I still prefer my Neutrogena ones if you're going to get some. Um, oops, let's go down. I actually ran out of these at the same time. So these are the ones I kept on my vanity desk. And then the Ulta Beauty ones. And then these are the ones I kept in my bathroom. These suck so bad. They burn. They have a little bit of a burning eye sensation. It's not horrible. But I'm like, it shouldn't burn. Makeup wipes for your face should not burn your eyes. And they should be super gentle. So I did not like these. Um, these came with um, 54 wipes, which is a good deal. But they were pretty dry. Um, they weren't very, like, it was kind of more dragging the skin um, versus these kind of glided over the skin. Because it, it definitely felt like it had some sort of, like, uh, moisturizing, oily kind of... I don't want to say oily, but that slipperiness, this one definitely had that more than this one. This one was very dry and draggy, like a damp cloth, you know, sort of situation. So I much prefer the Ulta ones over the Yes ones, but I still prefer my Neutrogena ones over both of them. Just, just saying. Um, but yeah, these were not bad for my makeup station. I like them, having them for like swatches and stuff. And then, yeah, this one, pass, hard pass. Don't, don't use these, just don't don't i don't care how affordable 40 54 wipes is a ton but they they suck not if you're using like two wipes per face so it ends up being the same you know spend the extra dollar or two and get the neutrogena ones my opinion but i'm sticking to it skincare she is empty this is my second one okay so i love this if you guys Follow me on Instagram during the 21 Days of Beauty. I did rave about this. I don't know if I deleted it afterwards or not. Um, because I kind of don't like promoting something like a sale that's no longer available. So I'm not sure if I deleted it or not. But I love it. This is a Murad Hydration Exfoliating Cleanser. A AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I keep this in my shower. Um, and I exfoliate my face whenever I wash my hair. So about twice or three times a week, I will use this exfoliator. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I can totally tell when I'm not using this. Like, right now I'm not using it. Right now I'm using the, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my, I can't remember. <sighs> I can't remember which one it is. Um, but it's a different one, completely different brand. Um... It smells a little funky. It's green. I don't know. I'm not going to describe it to you, but it's not this brand. And I'm pretty sure it's making me break out, which is the most unfortunate part. And it doesn't leave my skin. It's also an exfoliating cleanser. Um, it doesn't leave my skin as smooth and nice as this one. This one, like, it smoothens it. My skin feels healthy and plump and hydrated. It's just so, so good. Chef's kiss. Amazing. I love this. Obsessed. But the only reason... Okay. I gotta, I gotta disclose something. The only reason I try a different product after this is, is because my skin gets conditioned to it. 
So my skin gets used to it is what I'm trying to say. Um, so after I go through one completely, I can feel like I've tried this before. The next one I use, uh, it doesn't feel the same anymore. Like my skin um, doesn't have the same plumpness as it does when I'm like when I'm going through the first bottle of this. Like th this is pretty consistent through one whole bottle. But when I if I use another bottle right after, it doesn't have the same properties anymore because I think my skin gets used to it. So what I've been trying to do, and it's been working, but I miss this when I'm not using it, is that after I'm done with one, I switch to a different one, and when I'm done with that one, I go back to this one. And as soon as I go back to this one, after getting through the other one, I get that plump, hydrated, soft skin again. But I can't use this forever because my skin gets used to it, and then it's like, nope, do try something different. I'm like, hey, buddy love you no but it's like my skin's like no I'm sorry I'm used to you it's kind of boring try something different girl and then the one I'm trying makes me break out so I should probably try a different one but I'm like I already have them <laughs> it was like, expensive we'll get to that one when it's empty let me just tell you it sucks okay it sucks wait um Another thing is deodorant. I went through, this is the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray Stay Fresh. This is in the White Flowers and Lychee scent. Just this. I much prefer, there's like a secret bottle, the secret deodorant brand in this like similar packaging and the spray packaging. I love the spray deodorant. I used to be like a stick deodorant person, but I always felt like that left like the white residualness. And then it kind of got dark over time because I have really sensitive, discolorated underarms. So I felt like stick deodorants made that worse for me. So even though I'd rather not use these because I know they're really bad for the environment. And unfortunately, spray deodorants work really, really well for me. And stick ones just cause more issues with me and my skin underneath my arms. So unfortunately, spray bottles are the ones that I kind of have to go to. Um, the degree one sucks. It has been the worst summer ever. So I would spray this in the morning and by 2 p.m. while I'm at work, I could smell myself. And it wasn't super strong. Maybe it was in my head, but it, once I can smell myself, I feel embarrassed. No, like no one has said anything about my pits or like me smelling or anything. But if I can smell myself, I'm embarrassed. I'm disgusted. Like who is she? But <laughs> I'm also not a very wasteful person. So I try to use things up. So this was a very difficult thing to use up during the summer when I know it wasn't holding up. But I, I went immediately back to my secret clean, my secret spray one um, and immediately noticed that my deodorant lasts all day now. So that was a nice whew, to get through. I saw the milestone and I was like, thank goodness I can get a real deodorant again. And I have a pretty strong scent as a girl. Um, it's just being honest, um, I'm not very, very nice smelling girl. <laughs> I have strong fragrances. Um, so I need something that holds up. And unfortunately this degree spray did not hold up. Um, so I much prefer the secret one. That looks really, really similar. Like, are they like just the same brand and they're lying to me and they have like a little bit of a different formulation? This one says 48 hours. Girl, you couldn't even last eight. What are you talking about? Couldn't even last eight. 48 mm -hmm. yeah whatever who are you lying to don't recommend it sucks Blech. the next thing I wanted to talk about is this Kristen s deep clean clarifying shampoo I was super excited about this product and when I could get it to work I loved it but it was really weird so let me explain this comes out like a really like like um thin watery type formula and when I would put it in my hair it would like stay in that one spot like it, it was really hard to disperse from where I put it and then I'm like because normally like I'm I step when I go to shampoo my hair I like I my hair is already wet I already wet my hair I step out of the shower head and then I apply shampoo and I lather it through my hair and then I step back in and I rinse it well when I tried to do that with this um, and then I would step out of the water and then I would try to put it on my scalp 
it would just stay where I put it and I couldn't lather it and it wouldn't spread anywhere. It would just stay in that one little spot. And then I would go, I would get some more and then I would try to put it around here and it would stay here. And then I would have random spots on my scalp that I did not get. And so I'm like, why is this not lathering? So then when I started doing I felt like it worked a little bit. Was it like I lathered it in my hands first and then I spread it and that helped a little bit more. But it still didn't spread very well. And it says that it's lathering and suds, or no, it didn't say, it said super sudsy. I did not get a lot of suds from this. And then, yeah, I'm, yeah, it says super sudsy. And I'm like, I didn't get a lot of suds from this. It was a very, oh my God, I don't know even how, it just wasn't a very lathery, soapy shampoo. So it was very hard to spread it around my hair. And then, um, so I kind of started learning, started playing around with it. And I was able to apply it, like, so if I stayed under the, the shower head, and then I applied it, I was able to get a good lather and I was able to spread it all through my hair, but I had to work really, really fast because at the same time that I'm applying it, my shower head is also removing all of it. So like I would <clears throat> apply it with the water and then like I would step out for a second and then it would kind of lose the latherness and then I would rinse it out and I'm like, okay, whatever. It was just a lot of weird work for this shampoo i've never ever struggled with a shampoo a shampoo should be easy for people to use and i felt like this was not it it was really weird and complicated and then sometimes i i once i thought i started to get i understood how to use it i would try the same exact technique next time and it wouldn't work the same like either it would rinse too fast it wouldn't lather enough still and it was just a little back and forth. I'm like, what am I doing different this time? It worked last time. Why is it not working? It was just too watery, not sudsy enough, didn't spread easy enough. It was weird and too complicated to use, which is crazy because I love this scent and I really wanted to love it. I wanted, I gave this so many tries. I wanted to love it. I just, <sighs> no. I, I don't recommend this. Um, I still want to try, like, like I want to try maybe like a normal shampoo from Kristen S. Um, it's a little overpriced for how little that you get, but it smelled so amazing. I kind of want to see if their other products smell the same, hopefully. Um, and maybe their normal shampoo doesn't do what this did for my hair. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mm. It was too much of a struggle. I don't ever plan on repurchasing this but maybe something different from their brand lastly is this um eva nyc this is the therapy session hair mask and i personally felt like this made my hair a little like heavy it's like just like a deep conditioner i only used it whenever i washed my hair which was like twice a week or whatever and it kind of made my hair feel a little heavy. Um, it did feel like it did condition it like a little bit pretty well. Um, but I don't, I'm not particularly in love with like the fragrance it has. It's like a little bit of coconutty, you know. Um, but it just weighed down my hair a little too much. Um, I did get a fair amount of use. But the, like, the thing that I really noticed the most, I didn't notice it at first until I stopped using it. Um, I thought it was a different product and then I thought it was just maybe just me. Was that when I started using this, I used it in a combination with a different shampoo. It was before this. Um, this took me like a year to get through. Um, and this took me like a couple of months. But um, I was using it in combination with the Suave Daily um, deep conditioning or deep cleansing, um, shampoo. Oh, the daily clarifying shampoo. I'm trying to like remember the suave daily clarifying shampoo and this. And then, so my hair was falling out, but I have like a ton of hair. I have a ton of hair. I have a ton of hair. So when my hair falls out, I don't think it's, and it's like hereditary. My mom's hair falls out. And it's, it was just a lot of things, so I just assumed that it was normal and my hair was already falling out. 
And um, I did notice that it started falling out a little bit more. And I blamed the um, Suave. Because it's a really cheap shampoo. The, the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo that was only $2. I blamed that. And I was like, okay, it's probably that. But when I went through that bottle, um, I still continued to use this. And my hair continued to fall out. And I'm like, okay, well, it's just my genetics. And um, maybe it wasn't even the shampoo. You know, whatever. I didn't. I didn't put it together until I stopped using this and then I started using the Moroccan oil deep conditioner treatment that I got from the Sephora sale a while back. Um, immediately, like a quarter of the hair that I normally use, lose was, that was it. Like normally I would use four times as much hair with this one and now I was only losing a tiny amount in the shower. Like the tiniest amount. Like. <clears throat> Normally it would be like clumps and clumps and clumps and then I got out of the shower and it was only like this tiny little amount that fell out of my hair and I'm like, wait, what? The only thing that's changed at this point for my hair to not fall out anymore was this. So it's quite scary. <laughs> I used this for a year and allowed my hair to fall out the way it did just because I couldn't put two and two together and I just assumed that because my hair fell out my whole life that it was just hereditary or <clears throat> that it was a cheaper product I had been using, that it could have been anything else that I just didn't put two and two together. That maybe it could be this. Um, and I really think it was, unfortunately. So I was, I was letting myself lose my hair because I just couldn't do math. Couldn't do basic math. <laughs> so unfortunately, um, it's not anything like anything amazing, incredible, or whatever. Like if it was amazing, I'd be like, Ugh, you know, you have to really, you know, decide if it's worth it for you. But um, no, there's nothing great about this. The, the scent is okay. Um, it was a little heavy. Um, it did condition a little bit, but it wasn't worth. It's not worth the hair loss that I experienced with this. So. That's just my opinion. So if you guys have tried this before, let me know if you're using this and if you have hair loss with it because mine was pretty bad, like pretty bad. I'm surprised I didn't notice before because I just assumed it was everything else or, you know, genetics or the shampoo. Yeah. I didn't think it could be this. And then it was that. So I feel a little angry with myself, but you know, things like that happen, especially when you're trying multiple products and you have been trying multiple products for a long time or a certain combo doesn't work the same way. Um, I don't remember it being that bad before, but it must have been pretty bad. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Make sure to leave comments on below, down below like of products that you have gone through recently. Let me know. Let me know it was worth it for you. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next one.